Now the very latest from the newsroom of South today. Good afternoon. A Department of Trade inquiry opens today into the cause of a plane crash in Sussex in which nine people died. The light aircraft came down close to the village of Jevington near Eastbourne last night. On board were Irish journalists and hoteliers flying from Dublin to Paris to take part in the annual race to bring back the new Beaujolais wine. We've just heard that a Chinook helicopter has crashed into a beech wood near Sutton Scotney in Hampshire. All four people on board the twin rotor aircraft have been released from the wreckage and taken to hospital. The emergency services are at the scene. The Army is holding an inquiry after a 37-year-old Marine commando died during a one-and-a-half-mile run. Sergeant Ian Robinson collapsed with chest pains during the fitness exercise on Salisbury Plain. He was stationed at Netheraven Camp. Staff at the Royal Berkshire Hospital at Reading say there could be longer waiting lists for operations because the management have taken away tea and coffee facilities in changing rooms in the operating theatres. A leading surgeon said the staff were working in high temperatures and they now had to change out of their surgical robes and walk across the hospital for a tea break. The chairman of Brighton's Tourism Committee has accused rival seaside resorts of cashing in on the IRA bomb attack at the Grand Hotel. Councillor David Smith said he had evidence that other resorts were approaching conference organisers, claiming that Brighton can no longer cope with large delegations because the hotel is out of action. The Southern Water Authority says it's being forced to raise its charges by 11% next year, 6% more than was earlier announced. The chairman of the authority said that a government directive to the water industry had brought about the bigger increase. Finally, a car built 42 years ago has been sold at auction for £3,500 at Parkston in Dorset. The car, a standard Flying 12, has been off the road since 1955 and was discovered in the garage of a local woman who died earlier this year. It's been bought by a Dutch woman. That's the news. We'll be back at 6.30 with South Today. Join us then. Hello and welcome to Wednesday Sequence for Children on BBC One, including the amazing Super Ted and a compelling drama about a 14-year-old lad who becomes a thief. We start with Play School, presented by Liz Watts and Wayne Jackman.